Alright guys, so in this tutorial we are going to be looking at scaling up a rigged character inside 3ds Max. So, you finished rigging your character for the most part. You're happy with how you've skinned it and all of the uh, vertex painting. But the one small problem is that the rig is just too small. Or your entire character is too small and you need to scale it up. Alright. And you want to do all of that without crashing the skin modifier. Okay, I've got good news for you. You can do it. It's not the most straightforward, but you can do it. Okay, here's how. Now, the first thing you want to do is to go over to Customize and go to your unit setup. Now, I want my units to be in meters. You might want them to be in something else. Now, you might look at this and think, oh, well, that's absolutely fine. That's correct. Um, that can't be the problem wrong that probably is part of the problem because if you go to system unit setup actually it's not in meters it's in inches see that's only the display unit setup what you need to go to is the system unit scale which is one unit and uh, max is at the moment um, telling us that one unit equals one inch it's obviously wrong we want it to be meter so we're going to change that OK, click OK, click OK. All right, so that has now effectively changed the entire scene. All right, so I now need to go and check the measurement of this character properly. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can either put a box next to it. I find that to be a bit inaccurate. The most accurate way to do it is to actually select the whole character. Go over to Utilities. That's that little spanner icon there. And click Measure. And down here, we've got the exact dimensions of this character. Now, on the z-axis, it says 34.248 meters. Now, that is obviously way out. Um, in meters, I want this character to be 1.75 meters. That's approximately 5 feet 9 inches. Okay. Right, so, essentially, so that I don't crash any of those modifiers I've got on it, I need to rescale the scene from 3. Point, uh, sorry, from 34.248 down to 1.75. Okay. Right, we're going to need a calculator for this. So a bit of maths is involved. Okie dokie. So I'm going to type in 1.75. So that's the desired height I want this character to be. And I'm going to divide it by the current height that she is at, 34.248. Odds are it's going to give you a really horrible, complicated number like that. Okay. I suggest you round it down slightly. So I'm going to go 0 0.0511. All right. That's the number I need to multiply 34.248 by to get this character down to 1.75. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Right, so we do this by going to more and we scroll down to rescale world units. Click on that and then come over here and click on rescale. So you wanna affect the entire scene, so make sure you've got that selected. And then you've got the scale factor. Now that's what you're multiplying it by. So as we just found out, it needs to be 0 0.0511. That's what I was rounding it uh, up to. Click OK. As you can see, boom, shrunk. Now, you might see a bit of a mess here. Don't panic. <laughs> that's because I've got a skin wrap on the character. Okay, some of you may not have this, but if you have, don't worry. Okay, so some parts of tight clothing we actually use skin wrap for, which is um, a much easier solution to uh, individually skinning every single bit of clothing. Now, all I'm going to do is just delete the skin wrap, not the skin, this is just the skin wrap. The skin's still there and all fine, don't worry about that. Okay, now everything's looking normal. I'm just going to re-add the skin wrap and I'm going to tell it to be restricted by the body or take on the weights of the body rather. 
because the body's already skinned. So I'm just going to let it figure that out. Give that a bit of time. Cross your fingers. Hope it doesn't crash. There we go. Okay, let's just finish that. So I'm going to check my skin. Check that it's all there and working. So just click on some of these gizmos I've added. You may not have gizmos, you can just, you know, move the bones, and that's absolutely fine. So as you can see, yeah, that's all skinned. That brassiere was a right mess a minute ago, and now it's fine. Right there, fine there. And let's check all of the little individual uh, rigs around the face as well, and make sure that they're all there. That's fine. Ones are there. And jaws there. Okay, good. And now, most importantly, we need to check the scale. So, set the whole character, go to utilities, click measure, and voila, look at that. 1.75. She is now the correct scale. Whoopee. So, I hope that helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, then uh, just post them below. And uh, I'll see you next time.